Hello, I'm Michael Shermer. What's all this talk we've been hearing about global warming? It seems like every time I turn around, there's some pundit or politician proclaiming that the earth is getting warmer and that it's human caused. And they always want to pass laws to do something about it that will interfere with our great economy. These are climate deniers, and they claim that the climate is always changing. It's getting warmer. It's getting cooler. Climate change is totally natural. Back in the 1970s, scientists were worried about global cooling. they are natural cycles because of the Earth's variable orbit, they say. Or we're just in another warming period, like the medieval warm period, or after the Little Ice Age, it got warmer. Sometimes they say, no, no, it, it's just the sun causing the warming, or it's just volcanic activity. And they even claim it's actually been cooling off since 1998. Sorry, no, 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 and no. In these graphs from the Bloomberg website, based on NASA's Goddard Institute for Space Studies, the Earth has warmed 1.4 degrees Fahrenheit since 1880. Here you can see that gradual climb upward from that 1880 to 1910 average. In this graph, we can compare the warming of the planet to the Earth's orbital changes, which as you can see, have been negligible. Neither is it the sun. Here we can see that there has been no increase in solar radiation during the warming of the planet. What about volcanoes? Aren't they heating the Earth? Nope. In this graph, we can see the up and down variation of volcanic activity with no relation to the health of the planet. Here you can see the lockstep match between greenhouse gases and global warming. The primary cause of global warming is the increase in atmospheric CO2 levels, which are 40% higher today than they were at the start of the Industrial Revolution. It is indisputable. There is no denying that global warming is real and human-caused. Thanks for watching. Check us out at skeptic.com.